want to welcome Dave Bazuki. He's the CEO of Roblox. Last week, Roblox reported a larger than expected first quarter loss, but revenue uh, coming in above expectations. Dave, it's great to see you. Want to talk about the earnings the last quarter, and then, of course, want to talk about AI and how it's changing the business. Uh, the loss was bigger than some had expected, but also revenue better than some had expected. Hey, Andrew, thanks for having me on the show. Um, you know, we're firing on all, all cylinders. We had a great quarter. Our bookings were up 23% year on year. I believe what our shareholders were responding to was our bookings growth and our generation of cash. We generated over $100 million of cash in Q1. It's how we run the business. And this is really driven by the innovation we've been talking about over the last two years, all of the functionality we've added to Roblox to make it more appealing to older people and people around the world. Do you see any impact from the, you know, economically on, in terms of how many people are both using the service but buying things on the service? In addition to the 23% year-on-year bookings growth, we saw, we saw growth really in every sector, all ages, all around the world. Japan, for example, is now growing at over 100% year-on-year. Our over-13 segment is growing at over 31% year-on-year. And we shared that our bookings are already growing faster than cost of sales. They should be growing faster than our infra cost in Q3. And uh, we've done all of this while spending over $400 million on infra and once again generating $100 million right. of cash in Q1. Uh, you've talked about actually having uh, older and older customers uh, or users on the platform. Are those younger people that have just grown up are those new people you know joining as you know because i've talked about it on the show forever uh the sorkin boys you know were early roblox users and they're getting older but they're still on there yeah we're really happy with our retention numbers but new older people are flocking to the platform as well the content on our platform is getting better and better a lot of our developers are, are, which is, you know, our developer community is growing very rapidly as well, are starting to target content that is appealing for older users, more photorealistic type content. So it is a mixture of both. Uh, you've been spending a lot on AI and really at the intersection of it, there's going to be a lot more uh, both coding uh, possibilities for folks and then also chat bots and other things for people to talk to each other. Um, where are you on that journey? And, and how much of it is going to be your own technology versus plugins from some of the uh, large language models? Yeah, we're, we're building a full AI stack at Roblox. In Q1, we already shipped two big pieces of functionality. One is material generation. So, for example, if you want a moldy brick wall, you can just say that and Roblox will generate it. We also, to help people learn to code and to help our creators, introduced automatic code generation that we're really impressed with. But, but long term, there's so much on our platform that is going to really let everyone be a creator. You're going to be able to create 3D worlds or your avatar uh, purely with text prompts, for example. So really AI up and down our stack. How much do you worry, though? I mean, we're still at this place where, you know, some of these large language models hallucinate, say things they're not supposed to say. How do you put the right guardrails on these things, especially because you're going to have kids interacting with them? Yeah, once I think once people start interacting with, for example, simulated NPCs or chat bots, that's where our history of safety and civility really comes to play. I. I imagine us being very, very careful as far as uh, what type of bots an under 13 user would chat with. But at the same time, I'm really optimistic. I think we're going to have uh, AI teachers, AI language instructors, AI <laughs> chess coaches. And so I think our history of safety and civility will we'll apply right. the same principles in an optimistic way.